So now we're ready to get started. What we will now do is just take a, a quick recap and look at what we need to change on the ultrasound machine and also how to, to hold the probe in order to optimize the quality of our images throughout the entirety of the ECHO exam. So the first thing we'll look at is our grasp on the probe. On any probe, most probes, there will be some sort of indicator of the, the thumb notch, the finger notch. Sometimes it's a groove. And this corresponds with some sort of indicator on the ultrasound image. In this case, it's a blue dot on the side of the, of the image. And that tells us where in relation to our, our thumb, the, the image is being displayed on the screen. So for example, if my thumb is on the, the notch and it's pointed cranially, I know that on this particular image, the blue dot is also cranial. So that helps me orientate myself. The next thing that we need to do is recognize the buttons that we need to, to be changing throughout the exam. So the main ones will be the depth, and I'll just demonstrate this on the, on the machine. So we can change the depth. We can also change the gain which is overall how bright or dark an image is. And we'll demonstrate this with a live image in a moment. We can also change things that we would change throughout any other type of exam, such as the frequency, the time gain compensation. That's already been altered, so we're ready to get started. But the other thing that, that we need to do before we get started is actually put a patient detail in. Whenever you perform any type of ultrasound examination, it is part of the clinical record, so it's important to, to save some images if you can, if you have the capability on your machine. So we've entered our patient details. We're on a cardiac setting on, our, on this machine. If you have that, that capability on your machine, select a cardiac one. Uh, cardiac, it's called a preset. Basically sets up a few different parameters on the machine so it can help you get started and, and optimize your image quality. But we've put in a patient detail, we've set it to a cardiac setting, and we're ready to get started. The way that I will hold the probe throughout the exam is with my thumb on the thumb notch, grasping the, the probe quite near the footprint, and that way that will enable us to have really good control over where exactly we're removing the probe. Whenever you're performing a cardiac exam, the movements that we make, especially compared to what you do in an abdominal ultrasound exam, are very, very slight movements that actually make a huge difference to what you're envisioning on the screen. If you can imagine it's a, a one-dimensional or two-dimensional slice to a, a 3D structure, and so it's very important that you get it in just the right plane to be able to evaluate all the things you're wanting to see. So we're ready to get started now.